when it comes to shortcuts for iOS 18, honestly, Apple got it right. Now, depending upon who you are and what type of device you have, is 4.5 to 5 features I want to talk about in this video. Now, for me, it's only 4. For you, it might be 5, depending upon your device type. Let's talk about it. All right, so right away, the very first thing I want to show you is this right here, which is the new user interface. And the cool thing about it is this right here going across here, we can easily slide our finger across here and we can easily click on whatever we want. So even if you're brand new to shortcuts, it's very intuitive. Like if you want to do something with media, you can click on media and here go all your different shortcuts for manipulating media, whether that's looking at your photos, you're doing something with music, video, etc. It's so much easier and way better laid out now with that menu bar across. Now, that's the first one, but the next one is even better, which is this right here. Now, you might not realize this, but guess what? This is actually pan actions yeah that means that no more of us clicking in here you know how we normally have to click in here then we will have to click on favorites and go over to favorites to be able to use this now is right here and the best part of all is it's in alphabetical order so if you add something so really quickly let's just add some we're going to go into scripts and i'm gonna say let's see if i already got this pen i do not have a pen so i'm gonna pen and now i can say council i can Cancel out of that and now guess what I have it right here up under O's so now I'm able to quickly place it right here and if I need another one I can literally scroll back down to O's and press it again and I don't have to worry about clicking on favorites again going down finding an unordered list just to be able to find the action I want now before that it was much easier for me to just type it in and search it up now it's easier for me to scroll down and find exactly what I'm looking for this feature I really really like now I know one of the things that people are always asking is how do they get started with shortcuts and in iOS 18 honestly they make it drop dead easy for anybody to be able to pick up the app and get started let me show you what I'm talking about all right so here we are we still at shortcuts but if I click right here let's leave out of here just for an example let's say done and let's click the plus button to open up a new shortcut but now let's say I don't know anything about shortcuts so I come in here I start scrolling around and let's say I see let's say a let's say I see audible and I listen to a lot of audiobooks so I click on audible and look at that it gives me all the actions right here inside of shortcuts that I can do with audible this right here is extremely extremely cool the the fact that you don't have it separate anymore and you don't have to scroll down past all the actions and it's just right here underneath the actions you pick which means if you're brand new to shortcuts you're not going to have any pinned actions right here which means the first thing you're going to see up here at the top because you're not going to have these pinned actions like i do is going to be your apps and you're naturally going to click on your apps and see what actions do it have for it. so in the case of audible if i wanted to let's say come back down here to audible let's scroll up click right there and let's say i wanted to add a note i can now create a shortcut to add a note or if i wanted to start a sleep timer if i wanted to read a book i can click on read a book I can click right here and as you can see like I said I have a ton of books I can pick any book I want to actually read and if I want to create an automation around this book let's say I'm doing a book a week and I want to make sure I hit my number I can easily put my book up in here okay and let's say I click on the book 168 so this book is all about productivity as you know I'm deep into productivity but let's say that I wanted to finish this book in a week and let's say I gave myself an hour a day on my road trip from work and to work to listen to this book well I can honestly create this once I create it now I can come over here I can see it says read a book is the name of it come over to automations I could set an automation time based on the day. And if I know I'm normally in a car around 7.30 a.m., I'm able to say next. And then after that, I'm able to come over here and it's right here, read a book. So I already write that for me. Now, every day at 6 a.m., I'm going to hear my alarm go off once I stop my alarm. Well, I don't even think this is tied to an alarm. It's just going to 
run that shortcut and my book gonna start playing in my ear when I'm in the car. This right here to me, honestly, is super duper fun because a person literally don't have to know anything about shortcuts now to dip their toe in the water. And the fact that it's way more intuitive to learn and understand shortcuts, they laid it out in a much simpler way. To say this is exciting is an understatement. We can't talk about the new features of Shortcut without talking about Apple Intelligence because this is going to play a critical role in us being able to get quick actions. So let me, let's scroll through this and let me show you what I'm talking about really quickly, which is this right here. So you see it says new app intent, APIs and frameworks make it incredibly easy for developers to integrate system level features like Siri, writing tools and image playground into your favorite apps. This is talking about shortcuts. Now, here's the deal. This means that a person who haven't been integrating shortcuts with their app now will be able to integrate, give us way more shortcut features per app, and it's a lot easier to do it. Now, this is super duper exciting to me on the surface. The downside to it is, well, let me show you. If we scroll down here, you can see it says Apple Intent Apple intelligence is compatible with these devices. So you have to have an iPhone 15 pro or newer in order to get Apple intelligence, which means I won't be able to get Apple intelligence on my iPhone 14 pro max because it falls outside of the ramp, which is why I said for me, shortcuts give me four new powerful features. If you have the 15 pro or higher then you get Apple intelligence, if not, then yeah, well, it kind of suck, but I did plan on upgrading to iOS 16 anyway, so I'm definitely going to be upgrading because I definitely want this feature. Plus, on top of that, I already use ChatGPT. I already pay a monthly subscription for that. So if I don't have to give ChatGPT 20 bucks a month and is already built into my iPhone for free, I mean, that's a no brainer for me. I'm definitely into it. I'm definitely doing it. Now, with that being said, these are the top features that's come out so far. Now, if you done, if you know anything about these betas, you know that Apple don't officially come out with, you know, all the latest updates and all that stuff. You kind of got to tinker around and find them. These are the ones that I found so far. I'm going to be coming out with more videos as new features, whether as I find new features in a beta release, my phone is on beta right now, the developer version and Battery life has been sucky. It's, 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 it's been an experience. It's not, this is the reason why I did this video on my phone and not on my iPad because on my iPad, I usually create all your tutorials for this channel. And I did not want to put a beta on that phone because when I tell you I've had to re-record this video a few times, I'll open up an app, it'll automatically stop the video. So it is definitely not something you want to have on main device. Like if I wasn't creating these videos right here, I would not have a developer version on my phone because it is it 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 definitely comes with its share of problems to say the least. But with that being said, this is all I've been able to find so far as it relates to new features coming out for iOS 18. This is the beta one. I hope, hope, hope we get a few more. Like one of the things that I really want to be able to do is to reorganize that list that I showed you for our actions. I understand in alphabetical order and I appreciate it. It's better than it being an or, or an unordered list, but I would really love to keep my my actions and groups based on the type of actions they are. So that way I can just move through sections versus moving alphabetically through group, through actions, if that make any sense to you at all. But with that being said, that's all I got for you in this video. Till next time, I'll catch you in the next one. Later. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I just realized I didn't introduce myself. I ain't do nothing. How's it going? I'm Will. And on this channel, I teach you how to boost your productivity, leveraging technology and automation. Lately, I've been playing around with a lot more than just automation. I've been really digging into the Raspberry Pi and different operating systems as it reports, as it pertains rather to Linux, which has been a ton of fun. I'm learning a lot, learning how to code. And I really want to share that stuff on this channel, but I kind of feel like is I want to, but it's kind of like 
the channel is finally starting to take off and I don't know if I want to slow the growth down by sharing those type of videos that you might not be into. So let me know below if you would be interested in me showing you some cool stuff that I'm doing on Linux and, you know, the Raspberry Pi and some other boards. Now, I know I'm going to be reviewing boards on here because it's tech, but I'm talking about like actually getting into like the command line and learning the basics of it and stuff like that. Let me know if you'd be interested in something like that. With that being said, till next time, later.